Yo, Charlemagne apologized to Kwame Brown. Give it up for him. Give him, a, give him a round of applause. Make sure y'all give Charlemagne a round of applause for the fakest apology I ever heard in my damn life. Hey, look, man, look, check this out. You ain't apologize because of what you said. You apologize because your job was on the line. You apologize because people going to see, going back to see what happened to their girl. You apologize because not everybody running the clip of you talking about what you did with your wife and how you got her and how she was drunk and inebriated and you took advantage of her after she went you give you some for an X amount of time. That's what you just did. That wasn't no sincere, serious apology. Because if it was, you wouldn't have had to wait till you got to the Breakfast Club. You got an Instagram. You got a Twitter. You got all that. You could have told that man. You could have told that man straight to him. But no. You want to wait until you get on the Breakfast Club and got on the show. Why? Because not even before you hit that office today, but all over the weekend... They was calling you. You have to fix this. You have to do something. You you need to fix this. You need to do do this. You need to do something. We getting calls from this. We getting calls from that. Bro, okay, you gave yourself dunk the other day. Wow, don't mean nothing. Then you just gave out that fake apology. Like, it was so fake. Like, um, oh, from there, uh, I don't want to. Go back and forth with somebody from the same whole town as me. I'm sorry to him. I'm sorry to his family. Bro, you could have did that on your own accord. But, see, the problem y'all having now is, is that y'all didn't expect the masses and the people to be riding with Kwame Brown. And now that the masses and the people is riding with Kwame Brown, now y'all want to backtrack and retrack and, and sorry for this and sorry for that. And some of y'all want the smoke and some of y'all can't even handle the smoke. Some of y'all want the mama's cooking. Some of y'all running the running up fast as you can away from that kitchen. You can't even get to that kitchen. He done sprinkled his mama's cooking all over the place. Got y'all running for y'all life, y'all livelihoods, y'all jobs. Y'all hold everything just because y'all was bothering that man. Charlemagne, you know you was wrong when you said what you said. Talking about like, well, I was trying to defend. I was trying to do this. I was trying to do You ain't had no business bringing up that man. Daddy, his sister, none of that. And or whatever they done did to somebody. His brothers, none of that. But then you come out and apologize now. Kwame Brown may accept the apology. You know, he may just leave you alone and not give you no more than mama's cooking. But he really don't have to because everybody else finna be cooking you. Okay, you apologize to him. What about that girl that you alleged you did what you did and you played to a lesser charge? What about your wife? It's so humiliating for you to go out here and tell a story about how you had to get her inebriated just to do something with her. Like, bro, you got a whole lot to be saying sorry for. And it ain't just Kwame Brown. See, that's what that mama's cooking do. Now, he done seasoned it over you. He ain't got to do nothing else to you. You cooked already. Like, you you done. You know what I'm saying? You got Funk Flex. Funk Funk Flex ain't had a career. And I don't know how long you got. You got Funk Flex coming back, talking about you, running your name through the dirt, running your name through the dragging your name through the mud. But... The reflection of what you did is on the Breakfast Club because you did it on the Breakfast Club. And you know they was calling you your job in jeopardy. You could get fired. They could lose sponsorships. Everybody running the clip, uh, everybody running the clips talking about how you, what you did to your wife and how you got in the bed with her. Everybody pulling up the paperwork from that case. The, the, the lady mama talking in, hey, you know, it's going down a whole lot of several different ways and you never just flat out deny it. And or said that you ain't never did nothing with the girl. I seen the shade room post up something about what well, Charlamagne got tested and it wasn't no DNA. 
Bruh, he played out to a lesser charge of doing something to her. Who told y'all to go look for a DNA test? This ain't got nothing to do with paternity. This guy, he know what he did, man. He know what he did. You owe a lot of more people no apologies. But see, the people is on you now. And now that the people is on you, now the people starting to see like, wait, 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 hold up. Maybe we don't even need the Breakfast Club. Yeah, maybe we don't need all these other podcasts. Yeah, because you got a real person that ain't coming with, oh, let me talk about my jewelry and let me talk about my cars. And then Kwame Brown ain't like that. His hands still dirty. He been on them tractors. He riding in that truck. He sprinkling that mama's cooking and y'all cannot take it. That apology was trash. It was trash. Looked like it was pre-wrote. The, the the person that wrote it is probably the same person that sent Kwame Brown a cease and desist letter. How you sorry to that man and you don't even want that man talking about you. You don't even want that man speaking on you. It got too hot. But y'all messing with somebody. That's their mama's son, boy. And y'all gonna do right by that man. Or he gonna keep sprinkling that cooking on and I don't blame him. Man in this business, doing what he do. Y'all still want to bother them. You tell me how some. I'm trying to defend him. No, you wouldn't. You was trying to make him look like a, a crazy, deranged black man that people should fear and be scared of. And that's why you rolled down his family history because you couldn't name none or think of none or say none that he did to make him look crazy and stuff like that. So what you did was you used his family. To defame his character and try to make him look bad. Then you gonna send a cease and desist. Why ain't, ain't nobody never sent you a cease and desist? You sitting up there just like Seagull said. You made little mama cry. You ain't make her cry. No, you made her cry. See, so just the way you talk about how you did your wife, just the way we seen how you did little mama, just the way we know you did that other girl, and out of respect to that girl and her family, I don't even wanna say her name. Because I feel like that's a traumatizing situation for her. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, seeing the way you did all these women, it makes you think, even when Master P told you to chill, when you tried to make that little slick comment about Mercedes and Master P had to check you. See, every time, every time a man check you, you tuck your tail. Every time your job on the line, you apologize. Look how you disrespected Angelique, calling out her name, cursing her out, all this behind the scenes. Your job was on the line for that. You had to apologize to her too for that. See what I'm saying? You ain't slick, Charlemagne. You try to hide this super masculine authority when it comes to women. But when it comes to guys, you sorry, you apologizing, you shouldn't have said this, my bad, then reality strike and reality hit you. Yeah, them dudes that wanted that drop, you better be lucky they didn't get the drop on you. Because they should have pounced on you, but see, that's your karma because time and time and time and time again, you don't learn your lesson. Time and time and time and time again, you don't learn your lesson. You keep doing the same stuff over and over and over and over and over again, but... Your bag bigger now. And you know what they say about people with the bigger bags. The bigger the bag, the more cautious you not, the quicker you can lose the bag. This ain't over with. Okay, you apologize to Kwame. Bro, we not done. We need apologies for all the women you disrespected. Those need to come. You know what I'm saying? Um... Uh, you need to go apologize to that girl and her mama. You need to apologize to Angela Yee again just because she a girl too. You need to apologize to Mercedes and her family. But even though Master P checked you on that, you know what I'm saying? Because he a real man and Master P don't got to beat little people or try to talk down on people and do that. Like You got to do that because you did it for so long and you got away with it for so long. And man when checking you on it. That's why when Birdman came up there, you you y'all knew you knew what he was talking about. 
You knew what he was checking you on. And see, that's not DJ Envy character. And Envy don't don't check you either and don't be saying nothing. But because he a part of the show, that's why he be held accountable too. I know a lot of people be sitting back like, well, Envy ain't do nothing. Envy ain't said, yeah. But because he a part of it and he his own man and he not checking him, that make you guilty. If I go rob a bank and you with me, they not going to say, oh, the, oh, the dude that walked in with him, but he's not a bank robber. No, you with me. We both going down for robbing that bank. So that's why Envy be catching the smoke. So, yeah, Charlamagne, we, we hear your little apology, man. But, hey, the people was spoken. Their mama's cooking, still cooking. Kwame Brown still doing what he do. You know what I'm saying? And he might not say nothing about you again. You put the ladder on him. I'm sure he don't want to have to get no legal when, for what? He just responded to what you said about him and his family. But then you apologize after you done already sent your lawyers on him. Crazy. At some point in time, you got to start being a real man, though. Stop being this dude that only go around belittling women, doing stuff to women. You couldn't, you, you couldn't get no girls coming up. Was you mad, Charlemagne? Did they abuse you? Did they call you ugly? Turn you down? Break your heart? Why every story with you and a woman is terrible? It's terrible. Every story. You done did this to them. You done put this in their drink. You done called them out their name. You done did every story. But when it comes to a man, oh, you apologize quick. When it came to Birdman, oh, you ain't want the smoke. When it come to Kwame Brown, oh, you apologize quick because your job was on the line. We see what's going on here, man. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button. Y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, man. It's your boy, Buddha, and I'm out. But before I go, make sure y'all check out my last video. Also, make sure y'all check out the playlist. One.